And uh, I am joined here in the sunlit room by Johnny and Lizzie Gunderson of Lorenz. How are you guys doing today? Fantastic. Uh, thank you so much for uh, making the time to come in here and uh, share your talents with all of our uh, listeners. <laughs> we uh, greatly do appreciate it. Uh, Got to be a very exciting week for you guys. Uh, yeah. the, uh, the new EP, your first uh, CD, yeah. drops tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, you're doing a release show at 7 p.m. at the Fremont Abbey. Is that correct? That yes. is correct. All right. Now, uh, I hear there's only a handful of tickets left for those. So if, uh, if you want to see the show, folks, uh, definitely go to the Facebook page, uh, Lorenz. That's L-E-W-R-E-N-S. And uh, you guys have a link to where they can picture, yeah. purchase tickets or there, you, right? Or you can just go straight to Brown Paper Bag tickets. Oh, they're available through Brown Paper Bag, too. Yeah. So, yeah, either way, uh, but there's only a handful left. So uh, definitely hurry if you want to see the show. <laughs> All right, now uh, we have a, a little bit of time that we can chat later on. How about we let them get a, just a little taste of what they're going to get if they come out to the shows? Awesome. All right. Slip on my shirt, pull on my boots, turn up a record that reminds me of you. Play back our memories in my mind, cause ours is a story they will You would always say, I'll tell you someday, selling tickets for teasing with a smile on your face. And there are many things I wish I'd never done, but ours is a song that just has. Wish it did before it had to begin. We can hang up old quotes and lessons learned, but there are some bridges that just have. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. Just uh, stunning, stunning stuff. Thank you. Now, uh, on your, uh, uh, in your biography, it says that uh, you 
decided that you wanted to form a band after seeing your brother Noah and sister Abigail perform together. Yes. Now, uh, now that you have, you know, you, you've got your own group and you've got the uh, EP recorded. Uh, is there any sibling rivalry there? Is it kind of look what it, look what we did <laughs> um, <laughs> sort of thing? Actually, <laughs> actually, not at all. Um, we've always the been, opposite, yeah. Guys. yeah. <laughs> we've always really worked together and been like and really close all our lives. So yeah, I, I like, actually yeah. kind of knew the answer before I asked because I saw so many of the uh, the videos on your on your page. Uh, yeah. that you guys just all work together. So so yeah. amazingly, Thank you. Uh, Thank is you. it is it helpful at all to have uh, older siblings that yes. have already gone through things that can kind of answer the questions and and kind of maybe tell you where the the, the minds might be to avoid? Definitely, <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I think yeah, for sure. I mean, we've had gotten so many connections and you know just through Noah alone, and it really helps having a older brother. That's fantastic. Now, uh, the songs on this uh, on this new uh, EP, uh, let's see, it's entitled uh, Don't Forget Me, by the way, which I almost forgot. How ironic <laughs> is that? But, uh, the, the CD is entitled Don't Forget Me. Did you guys write these songs yourselves? I did. I wrote all the you songs. You write all the myself. songs? Okay. Yes. Now, uh, when it comes to recording, uh, are the songs pretty much completed when you go into the studio, or do you just kind of bring in a demo and then everyone kind of adds their own flavor to it? Um, well, they were completed, like, lyrically, right. but a lot of things did change in the recording process and the practice before, and so we did kind of go into it. I went into it thinking it was just going to go the way it was practiced, but a lot of <laughs> things did change, and that was really nice, especially having Noah there and helping us out and telling us what we should do and yeah so that it yeah. things did change yeah noah yeah. actually produced the the record for us oh awesome so, yeah at least that way you know you've got a producer you can trust <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. you know someone that's looking out for you and, yeah. uh, and not someone that has their own personal agenda there totally. <laughs> so that much would must definitely be uh, be helpful uh noah is is really uh, uh almost a legendary in local circles i mean he he really does have a, a pretty big following of fervent fans well, actually all of you do and you know your performances at the gundersons uh I, I, the, the video that is on your Facebook page of you guys performing Eleanor Rigby, mm. I swear I watched that thing like five times in a row. <laughs> I was just blown away. Oh, I mean, yeah. It was just incredible. You guys sounded so good. And Thank with you. that, you know, the, the Seattle Rock Orchestra behind you, it was, yeah. wow. Uh, those types of opportunities when they, uh, when they come along, uh, did the fact that you had so much performing experience uh, does that make it easier to go into a studio or, or does it make it a little more difficult because you're used to the anything can happen live mm -hmm. vibe and then in the studio it has to be a little bit more structured? That's a good question. <laughs> I, yeah, I think it's I think it's different for everyone. Um, oh, yeah. For me, I feel I honestly feel pretty comfortable in the studio. I love being in the studio, but I know a lot of people, um, just some people in our band that ha prefer um performing all right the, re the recording is more a necessary yeah. evil you have exactly. to put the music out I, yeah. <laughs> but it's not that much fun <laughs> I've, always, yeah, I've always liked performing a lot better because i can i can express all the songs with my hands and my body language and i yeah. love that and i love using my face to really s express what i'm trying to say <laughs> in a better you know so it's hard because one of my um, biggest inspiration is is Glenn Hensard, oh, and yeah. he's very expressive in his voice. For sure. So for sure. it's been a, it's been kind of a, a struggle for me to get that that ex expressiveness into my voice in the recording. Mm -hmm. So I do prefer. <laughs> the live but well in the live you also <laughs> you know you also get that immediate feedback you know yeah. you, you know if it's good the crowd tells you right away mm -hmm. you don't even have to finish the song <laughs> you know yeah. they'll let you know immediately whether or not you nailed it or not yeah. so uh, johnny y you uh enjoy being in the studio do you foresee uh producing being something you want to look to do in your future um, maybe not right away but somewhere down the road i've thought about that i think I honestly like the role of just coming into a studio and just doing what is necessary. <laughs> so I think I, I think I would lean more towards like a studio musician. Oh, I see. Instead of like a someone that's in control of 
the sound, the, the entire sound. Sure. I like adding to the sound, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. That's, that's you know, the, the song comes in complete, but then you find your own little flavor, exactly. like I was saying, as you're going through the recording. It's like, wow, this sounds great, but listen when I do this. <laughs> that exactly. That's the thing. Okay, that's, that's cool. Yeah. Well, uh, how about uh, we give them uh, one more song? You guys want to give them uh, another song yes. here? And, uh, and let us know what, uh, what it is we're listening to. All right. This song doesn't really have a name officially yet. It's pretty new. Um, but we can call it two, Broken two? Broken People? Bro broken Pe yeah. <laughs> <laughs> broken people. Yeah. We're going to call it Broken People officially. <laughs> <laughs> We are two broken people Mending each other With words that we don't understand And they speak of emotion While a poisonous potion Burns in their gut As they speak of far away lands He's a like a toy by a woman drowning in pride she's an honest girl who dreams of a world she knows she'll never <laughs> Once again, you guys are just uh, just amazing. A pretty pretty bright future out there for you guys, I am sure. Thank you. Goodness gracious. Now, uh, once again, uh, Lorenz is the name of the band, and the CD is Don't Forget Me. The CD release party will be happening tomorrow night, 7 p.m. at the Fremont Abbey. Now, uh, I noticed that uh, you guys made a video for the title track yeah, to the, uh, the CD there, uh, Don't Forget Me. Uh, that's available on your uh, Facebook page. Is it available anywhere else where people can check it out? Do you uh, know? YouTube. I mean, it's just on YouTube. YouTube. Okay. And then uh, you can find it on Twitter as well. We have a Twitter account as well. So, so. was it uh, was it a lot of fun for you guys to, uh, to make that video? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we just basically <laughs> spent the day with someone filming us <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no no special plan or no. storyline let's just yeah. have a camera follow us all day and we'll edit it together it was, yeah, so exactly. that's really beautiful fun. that's great yeah. <laughs> pretty much yeah our daily life now is how, how long ago did uh, did you release that video 
like two weeks? Two weeks ago? Two we- yeah, just two about weeks. two weeks yeah. and already over a thousand hits on yeah. that video. Yeah. That's got to be pretty gratifying yeah. for you to, to have that many hits that yeah. quickly. <laughs> it's great. It, it feels just, really good. I think it just hit 2,000 last night. Oh, so. it already hit 2,000. That's amazing. That's I know. Sad. Well, I, I hit it twice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I actually, I, I shared it on my Facebook page so all the oh, listeners could, uh, could check it out before you. you came in here today. <laughs> and uh, and actually, I got feedback right away. There were like three or four people that went, wow. Oh, who, where'd you find these guys? Oh, no. <laughs> They're great. It's like, That's I didn't awesome. find them. They found me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, uh, and, and again, thank you all so much for, uh, for coming in. So and uh, Lorenz is more than just the two of you. There's uh, five members in the band, is there? Five, some, sometimes six. <laughs> Would you like to uh, give a shout out to yeah. the members that aren't here? And I want it to be known that they're not here because they didn't want to be. They're here because <laughs> I can only fit two people in the booth. So, so don't hold any ill will towards the other members of the band. They probably would have been here. I just don't have room. <laughs> All right. So we have um, me, and I'm Lizzie Gunderson. And then we have Johnny Gunderson, who is with me. And then um, Abby Gunderson, who's a violinist and singer. And... Noah Gunnarsson every once in a while plays guitar, and Kale Lawton, bassist, and Michael Porter is the electric guitarist, and Johnny plays the drums and sings as well. Excellent, excellent. Well, you just wanted to make sure that the whole band got a little love. You yeah. Know? Did, didn't want to get any of those issues uh, where, you know, there were some infighting, because why do you guys get all the, uh, all the press? So what about us? Well, <laughs> we love time, you all. Yeah. There's been times on stage where I'll, like, be so nervous that I'll forget their names, and I'll be like, this is... <laughs> but it doesn't happen anymore. This, this is this is the person playing guitar. Let's hear it yeah. for the person What's playing guitar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's a good. See, that tells you no matter how seasoned you are, you can still have those moments yeah. on stage where it's just everything oh. goes away. Yeah, <laughs> I've, uh, I've I've done that a few times, even here uh, on the air, and, and my listeners will will they'll tell you. <laughs> I can be in the middle of, of an announcement and completely forget where, what I was talking about and where I was going. Our name is Le- <laughs> The Renz. Is it The Renz? Renz? My name's Joe. Just- <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What I what I usually do is I'll just stop and, and I'll leave a moment of silence and I'll go, this just in. The, my, my train of thought is completely derailed. There were no survivors. <laughs> And then I just move on go. with whatever was next. <laughs> if I figure out what it was I forgot, we'll come back to it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you guys are just uh, fabulous. Uh, do, do you have anything um, unplanned or planned for the future outside of the CD release show, or are you still working on things? Um, we have a couple shows. Um, we have a show in September that we're not allowed to announce until our show tomorrow. Gotcha. Um, so, so just go to go the to- show and then you'll know, <laughs> exactly. or check back on the Lorenz Facebook page constantly, and you'll exactly. be updated on these things. <laughs> yes, sir. We also have a, we also have a little. I think we have a. What's the local TV station? I think it's KCTS or something. Uh, that's the the PBS station. PBS station. Yeah. We're doing a, we're doing a um, a session with them. Oh, that's um, fantastic! On I think Thursday night. Wow. Um, it's a new it's a new series called Pi. It's just uh, awesome. Yeah, so we're gonna be doing that sometime, and I'll let, let yeah know the yeah that's definitely something to uh, to look forward to. I, I know uh, being a member of this community radio station, you know we yeah. uh, we kind of count PBS as a part of the local community. Okay. We're we're all you know have that same thing. We're uh, publicly funded stations that yeah. uh, that just want to try and keep things real and Seriously? not have so yeah. big a slant. Yeah, uh, I I don't want Clearasil telling me what music I can and can't play. <laughs> yes. You know I, I I like to decide for myself so what's like worth what's worth hearing <laughs> yeah. and uh, and you guys are definitely worth hearing oh, so uh, thank you so uh, much and, and you know they dropped off a copy of the new ep today so you can definitely look forward to hearing more lorenz here on kser uh you guys got one more song in you before i let you go i know we didn't really discuss yeah. how many songs we were going to play <laughs> totally. uh, i kind of forgot that like i said sometimes my train of thought derails <laughs> but uh, you, do you got one more yeah, yeah uh, perfect yeah Dude, don't forget me. Yeah, I, I me. may mess up a little bit. But. Please tell me. That's, that's all right if you mess up a little all bit because right. nobody's really heard it before. It's brand <laughs> new, so they won't know. <laughs> exactly. oh. so don't forget me. Oh, I know 
We will never be together, but oh, I know we will always love each other. And when first we met, I fell so deep in love I can't sit still when I look into your eyes my heart fills up with butterflies don't forget me e me don't forget me e me And though things have changed And my heart will never be the same I know you'll always be The best friend you were to me And please don't regret Any of the things that you ever said Cause the time I spent with you Were the best times I've been through Don't forget me e me Don't forget me e There you are, ladies and gentlemen, the title track to the new record, Don't Forget Me. The video is available at uh, Loren's Facebook page and uh, out there on YouTube. And uh, and I can honestly say, Lizzie and Johnny, anyone that ever hears you sing will never forget you. Oh. Uh, that, that <laughs> was uh, so that, Those are some amazing harmonies you guys yeah. got. Very, very good. Thank Again, thanks so much for making the time to stop in today. Uh, good luck with everything in the, uh, in the future. And uh, like I said, I'm sure everything's going to go pretty well for you guys uh, any uh, last things you'd like to say to your fans or anyone listening before we say goodbye just thank you so much for all you guys have done for us i mean it's like out of this <laughs> it's hard to believe <laughs> all right well thank you again very much and uh, folks if you want to uh, re-listen to any of this uh, amazing music you heard today uh, remember that this show will be available for up to two weeks on kser.org's radio replayer feature